What's up everybody? It's the Comic Sense of Best coming at you with another video. And in this video, we're going to talk about the AMC short interest a little bit more because some people are confused, some people's had some comments that I agree with and I want to address them. And we're going to talk about the April 8th eclipse. No, I'm not going to try to convince you that AMC is going to squeeze April 8th because of the eclipse. That has nothing to do with it either. But a lot of people are commenting to me about the, the eclipse and what's my opinion. So I'll give it to you in this video. But let's start with short interest. Listen, people. Number one, let's get it understood. You, you cannot look at short interest and make that a statistic that you can follow and consider it to be accurate. Because they only report only 80% of short interest, all right? 20% we don't know about. So, if you want to manipulate the short interest, all you would have to do is report less short positions one day. Then the next day, increase it, and it, it goes up. You understand? It's, it's just another statistic that can be manipulated because they only report 80% of them. So, there's really no big argument over short interest because it's irrelevant. But for argument's sake, it's tied to other narratives that people are trying to push and cause you and me to believe, and I don't want that to be the case. I want you to understand how short interest works in a perfect world, all right? Now... Adam Aaron said in the prospectus that we have 263,604,984 shares of Class A common stock. Pentel reports the short interest is 36,329,391 shares short. Now let me pull on back up here real quick so we can get on the same page here. Because we know shit, yet we set shit on the shelf when it's convenient that it don't fit our narrative. Then we want to go and take it off the shelf whenever it fits our purpose. And that's not how it works. All right. What you know for sure is a short share is a share that someone borrows. And they sell it on the open market and they hope to buy it back at a cheaper price. You know this. All right. So when we say short interest, I'm not talking about synthetic shares. I ain't talking about the naked short shares. You stick with the facts, and the facts is it's 13.83% short legally borrowed shares of AMC that have been sold short. Now, I've heard a lot of YouTubers say they don't want to go on the record with what they believe about synthetics and naked short selling and all that. And I'll go on the record and I'll tell you transparent what I believe. That I believe that the real, real short interest, including naked short interest, would push the short interest of AMC to around 7 billion shares shorted. I believe that. The numbers that we're talking about right here are legal short sales, legal shares that they have went out and borrowed and shorted into the market. That's what this number represents. Now, real quick, let's see. Let's say that Adam Aaron sells enough shares to where the outstanding float moves to 300 k okay? I believe that's about what he sold, about 35 million shares, okay? And what that's done is when they do that and they don't sell anything short, the number stays the same, the short interest would go down to 12%. Why? Because the new float's going to be 300 million and the short interest is 36 million, so that's 10% is 30 and 2% is 6 so it would be a new short interest of about 12% if they didn't short anymore legally. But now let's say that they are shorting legally, which means that they are going out and they are finding shares to borrow, and then they are shorting them into the market. All right, right? that's what short is, right? Then where are they getting the shares to borrow? 
they're getting the shares to borrow from the $37 million that's been sold to the loans. Hello. Now, let's switch gears and talk about this April 8 eclipse real quick, okay? And if y'all want to see more videos about it, I'll share with you my thoughts more on it. But while we're discussing the short interest and arguing over how to interpret it, all right, there's shit going on in this world that this world is fixing to be fucked, okay? While we're arguing about something as small as the short interest of AMC, Iran, it, within two days, is supposed to attack Israel. Did y'all know that? I'm not talking about Iranian proxies in other countries that Iranian funds. Iran is going to strike Israel. The country I ran. And when they do that, it's over. It's over. Now, the CIA has put out a, a memorandum saying that that's going to happen within two days. When they shoot them missiles at Israel, people, it's the end of the world. <laughs> I hate to tell y'all. The short interest on AMC ain't going to make a fuck if Iran shoots them missiles. So what's my point? My point is like I said in the beginning, all right? It makes no difference what CSI believes. The Iranians believe that the eclipse is a sign for them, that this is the time for them to take their stand against the evil Israel, all right? And this is what could cause a self-fulfilled prophecy. And everything is pointing to the fact that it's going to happen. Not that it's going to be, well, it will be the end of the fucking world. That's going to be the end of it. I, man, I'm scared to death. I would rather, I say I don't want to make no more AMC videos, but there's coming a time, people, when Lou was on my chicken apocalypse, who you're about to see the fucking chicken apocalypse. And does it have to do anything with the eclipse? No, it has everything to do with what they believe that eclipse represents. That's what makes the eclipse dangerous. That's what can shove this world into chaos. All right, and I know about the, the last eclipse did this, and this eclipse is doing that, and they crossing in the middle. I know all the theories. I've watched them all. But I know this, that it's, it makes no difference what I sit here and believe. It's what they believe in over there, and they believe in that this is the time for them to rise up, and it's about to happen. So, yes, do I believe that the eclipse could cause the end of the world, the apocalypse? You're fucking right, because them super motherfuckers is just crazy enough to believe that the eclipse is telling them to do stupid, stupid shit. So, with that, Love y'all. Be blessed. Y'all want to hear some more theories on the April 8 eclipse? I got a whole bunch of them. I'll see you in the next video. Be blessed.